Bueno, eh, George, uh, first, I know congratulations on the movie. Thank you for your time. Really, really awesome. I think at the same time, pretty heartfelt, heartfelt movie. I want to talk a little bit about, obviously, Ryan, because I, 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 I felt this Mr. Miyagi vibe with him, obviously. But I, what, obviously, how, how did you prepare for the role mentally and physically? Um, well, mentally, it was, it was a role I had played before in the movie called American Wrestler. Um, this is actually the sequel to that movie. And so mentally, it was kind of just, you know, putting on an old, old pair of shoes that you're used to wearing. And um, that was a lot of fun to, to do that role again and, and re, re hone in my accent and things like that. Um, but physically, it was a lot more challenging. Physically, I had to gain about 20 pounds of muscle in about two months. I had to uh, learn three or four different disciplines of MMA um, and uh, had to learn how to stunt fight because once you learn how to fight, they teach you how to unfight so you can learn how to do it for movies. And so it was a whole, it was a whole bunch of physical uh physical preparation for this film but uh, in the end it was it was more than more more fun than I can ever imagine having on a film. Now, Ali is struggling with two things obviously he's struggling with obviously his mother not being there and having to provide for his mother but he's struggling with, with ma ma you know making it to making sure he does what he can to make it to, you know to, 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 to be there for her. How, how did you, how much was it you, or how much was just following the script? How much, why, why, how did you balance that out? Um, yeah, um, a, lot, a lot of it was, uh, you know, based on a, a, a true story of Ali Afshar, and that's what the first film, you know, really, really uh, walks through. And so him trying to make it came from Ali's true story and, and you know, sort of being on his own and not really having a family around him to, to show him the way, he had to find his own way. And um, that that true story element was kind of kind of what uh, what took the character down that journey. And um, in this sequel, we sort of follow Ali on this next endeavor of, of instead of fighting for himself this time, he's now fighting for someone else, and it's his family and trying to save his mom. Um, I, I want to talk a little about Brian Brian Craig. You know, he plays Brian. I I absolutely loved him. I think he played such an uh, you know that guidance that that meant you know that that somebody's beside you pushing you not to give up but he, i felt so much like the karate kid i felt like he was mr miyagi for for ali there hey uh, don't worry i want to help you out how was how how i mean how did that chemistry between the two of you struck was was just you know just right there organic when the two of you just started working yeah 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 it really was organic with him he and i actually are friends in real life and so when i heard he was on the movie we were both like oh we're gonna do great and it's like So our, our buddy buddy friendship sort of came across on screen, which was awesome. And um, throughout the film, he's kind of joking, you know, with this with the Star Wars joke and about <laughs> Obi Wan Kenobi. And so it's kind of funny that he almost is my Obi Wan Kenobi in the movie. You're totally right. <laughs> that's a good that's a good good call. Um, I, I think that the, my my follow up question should be: um, Is there was there something that you found something pretty difficult? Again, you just mentioned that you had to basically transform your body. For this film specifically, was there something that you know stuck out that you know stands out that you found specifically difficult in order to you know you know produce for this for this specific uh, story? Yeah, I think the, the the hardest part for this film, I think for the whole production team, was just getting the script right because you know the first one was was really like festival fan favorite and everyone loved it and it connected with a lot of people's true stories. So we didn't want to make a sequel that sort of mocked the true story of it all, and so honing in the script and the writers that worked on the script you know getting it to feel like a natural continuation and, and not and not like a you know a whole uh, a detour from the, the the heart of the story and keeping the Ali's journey about his mom and, and saving his family and fighting for his family we felt kept the heart from the first one to the second one so that was probably the biggest struggle but I think they did a great job um, um, final question I think we should be uh, again what, what would you expect people to to get at least an action-packed movie, in my opinion, it's an action-packed action movie, or again, like I mentioned, it has a lot of heart. So what would, what would you, what do you want, or would you expect people to get out of it or, or, or react to it? Yeah, I think the best way to describe it is it's a movie that'll make you laugh and it'll make you cry and it'll make you feel like you can do anything in the world. It, it's, it's, it's all, it's all of it in one. And it's a great, you know, roller coaster. And, and I think everyone who goes and sees it, May 21st in theaters and on demand will love it. Thank you, George. Thank you for your time. Thank you for the interview. Thank you. And again, congratulations on the role and on the movie. 
that was really, really, really cool. I, I really loved that. Thank you. Thank you so much, Raphael.